So this is the latest and arguably most significant addition to the Mercedes-Benz range. It's the all-new EQS electric flagship and it will sell alongside the S-Class when it goes on sale later this year. Uh, it is differs from the EQB, EQC and EQA in that it debuts an old new dedicated electric vehicle architecture. So whereas those vehicles are basically de uh, based on underpinnings uh, derived from existing combustion powered cars, this has been designed from the outset to be an electric vehicle. So this means uh, that the packaging has been optimized, um, the uh, battery pack etc sits underneath the passenger cell and as you can tell from the proportions uh, there's very short front and rear overhangs. It's a cab forward design so a very short bonnet in other words um, and uh, this means that its proportions are quite different to the S-Class. Yeah, even though the overall length of 5.2 meters me, uh, places it between the long wheelbase and short wheelbase S-Class, um, it has quite a different stance on the road. Uh, there's a fast back uh, rear end, so there's a tailgate rather than the boot of the three box S-Class. And uh, we can just get it open. There we go. Uh, as you can tell, there's um, quite generous luggage capacity, which of course can be extended by the split fold rear seats. Uh, you don't get any full size spare, um, uh, as is the norm with most uh, cars these days. There's 21 inch rims uh, on this particular car. But uh, the rims, available rim sizes range from 19 to 22 inches. And uh, so this is the EQS 450 Plus model. So it's a rear wheel drive, single motor powering the rear axle. And there's also the EQS 580 4Matic flagship, which I drove yesterday. That's uh, dual motors. Uh, 523 horsepower, uh, 855 newton meters of torque, and uh, that does 0 to 100 in 4.3 seconds and hits 210 kilometers flat out. Uh, so these numbers aren't mind blowing by Tesla standards, but uh, I guess uh, much more significant is that you get a touring range of up to 780 kilometers with this, uh, the EQS 450 plus, and uh, it has fast charge capability, whereby you can get 300 kilometers of touring range with a 15 minute zap. And uh, so, which is really more significant in terms of day to day usage. So I've driven both cars, the EQS 450 plus, and the 584 Matic over the last couple of days. And uh, uh, it's, it's fair to say that even in this, in this one, the, the single motor 450, there's enough urge there uh, uh, for day-to-day -day driving. It's, it's quite adequate. Um, and I think for most buyers, uh, they won't even need to step up to the 580. This offers enough grunt. Um, and of course, with uh, electric power you get torque right off the bat so um, uh, which uh, means that it's it's always got enough grunt when you need it uh, superbly quiet possibly the quietest car I've ever driven uh, great refinement and uh, but interestingly there's also a sound experience function um, which when you activate it uh, sort of generates a synthesized sound via the speakers. So in this car it's a rather unusual sort of spaceship uh, sounds which are generated by the speakers which is a little I found a little unusual but interesting nonetheless. 
whereas in the 580 you get uh, like a muted V8 rumble which which I found much more pleasing and uh, so we'll just get the thing open and you will see that uh, rear seat space is is massive I've got the front seat set where I would sit uh, I'm not hugely tall but you can see there's loads of leg room here I'm about uh, 1 meter 72 and for me there is sorry about the bad camera work there's uh, loads of headroom and I think the real highlight is this hyper screen up the front which uh, is probably the piece de resistance of, uh, of this car. It uh, really sets new standards for uh, cockpit layout and the user interface and you can control pretty much everything by the screen. There's just a dizzying number of of uh, options and uh, you can configure everything obviously by this or by the uh, MBUX uh, voice activation uh, for example hey Mercedes how can I help volume down sorry switch the engine on or the Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Volume down. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Sunroof open. I'm opening the sunroof. So on the whole that works quite well. In the past I found that um, the uh, voice activation couldn't quite sort of dis discern what I was saying but uh, they seem to have sorted that glitch out now um, so I think uh, where this car really shines is in the user interface uh, great refinement uh, just superbly quiet uh, it, they've out Rolls Royce Rolls Royce itself and uh, in terms of ride quality uh, and overall driving dynamics it's agile and uh, the fact that the battery pack which is one of the heaviest components of the car is all sat low in the car means uh, the center of gravity is low so it actually corners quite flat we're, we're in switzerland just outside zurich and uh, uh, so we've had a lot of narrow roads to contend with winding roads but uh, it actually dealt with it uh, surprisingly well uh, even for such a large and heavy car this is about two and a half tons so i'll leave it at that for now more to come